Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for, for now until the end of November. Um, I'm using the Vice Versa deck. I did cut the deck like I always do for the Vice Versa deck. There's stuff on both sides of these cards. This is not a private reading. It doesn't have your name on it, meaning this reading might not be for you. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I focus on relationships, love, stuff like that. I'm not accepting private readings at this time. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, so I've cut the deck to the Five of Wands. This is conflict. You know, it is. It's like competition. You may be involved in some sort of competition Competition that is making you feel conflicted. you got to win, right? You know, you're up against somebody. Somebody is up against you, whatever the case may be. Whatever is happening, it's like, it's a battle. It's a battle as to who's going to win. And other people are watching this. Other people see that you are in some sort of competition. So just be aware that other people are, are they see what's going on. So, yeah. I have to show you the next card, which is Justice. It looks as though whatever is happening, whatever battle, whatever competition you are facing, you are probably going to be the victor. It looks like justice is going to be served in your favor, considering this is your card. You're probably going to get what you deserve out of this. I think that... Um, You're doing the right thing, whatever it is that you're doing. You are absolutely doing the right thing. You're acting with integrity and whatever is happening, I think that your your ability to handle this as with facts, you know what I mean? It looks like you are, your honesty, your integrity, your ability to handle this tactfully whatever it is is going to bring you some sort of justice okay I think you're, whatever this is your ability to make the right decision is going to bring you the win in this competition you know what I mean you're gonna win by the looks of things we are gonna shuffle Because of your perseverance, right? It's like, yeah, you're facing this. You're facing this conflict. You're not backing away. You're not backing down. Ooh, we have the emperor. This is the sign of Aries. But you could. this could be the person you're competing with. Okay. I'm not sure. But, you know, this is... Uh... You, you could be, if you're a, a Libra woman, you could be dealing with a man who is very controlling, put it that way. Um, we have trying to keep things under control, trying to keep things structured. He's a very dominating, so you could be dealing with somebody that is very dominating. Or if you are the Libra man, you may need to dominate this situation. Maybe you need to be more dominating. Somebody is moving in a new direction, starting a new phase. Now, I'm not sure if it's you or it's this person. Okay. I'm just going to get the rest of these cards real quick. So, Libra, you are either dealing with somebody that is moving on or you are the person that is moving on. Okay, somebody is turning their back. This is the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the Death card. This burden is too heavy. It's going to be dropped. I'm giving up this fight. I'm moving on. Somebody has uh, become consciously aware that it is time to see the light and start a new life. Okay, they're accepting the truth, taking the power in their own hands. We have somebody that is going through some sort of awakening. They're waking up. Um, with that Ace of Swords. So, transformation with the Death card. Endings bring new beginnings. Now, I don't know if, you know, you have a man in your life in which uh, 
this man is turning their back on you or you're the one that's turning your back. But it looks like it is the male figure that is taking the power in their own hands and moving in a new direction. I mean, where the, the only thing, there's only one woman here, okay? This one's moving in a new direction. And then there's the world card. This is a completion, a major completion. So it looks as though we do have a new beginning here that is happening because somebody is taking the power in their own hands to come out of this period of loneliness. They're moving in a new direction. And I think that you may be conflicted about this. You may feel a little uneasy about this because somebody is turning their back, whether it's you or whoever it is. Somebody is no longer wanting to play this game. They're no longer wanting to fight. They're no longer wanting to be involved. I think whoever you're dealing with, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, has really tried hard really put in a lot of effort and they've gotten to the point where they don't want to fight anymore. It's like they're giving up the fight. This this holding on is too heavy now. You know, it's like mm -mm, it needs the burden is too heavy. It's too heavy. It needs to be dropped. So therefore, it looks as though somebody is moving in a new direction because that now they're aware. They they've taken the time to reflect and come up with a plan and now they're moving. They're moving on to a new a new chapter. This is a major completion. It's the last card in the deck. It's where one phase of your life is over. And it wasn't just a little phase either. It was something big that was, it was a big part of your life. Whatever, something that was a, had a major impact on your life is ending. And you are about to start a new phase. One lesson has been learned. And if you remember the justice, that's karma. Karmic lesson. So we have a, a karmic situation that is coming to an end. I mean, I can't pretend. That is the truth. This is the sword of truth. We have a major completion here, and that is the truth. Whatever this truth is that is being de delivered is going to give you a new beginning. Okay? So you do have a new beginning. The death card, the world card, the ace of swords. You have a major new beginning here. A transformation. It's like... With the endings bring new beginnings. So there is something ending that is going to put the power and the control in your hand where, where you're now the boss. You're now the leader. So you are about to, it looks like, start a new phase in your life and it's not going to be a little one. This new phase is going to be a lot different than your last one because whoever it is that was... was uh, with you in this card, they're no longer going to be there. They're not going to be there because that part, that phase, whatever it was, it's over. It's over. It's done. It's completion. Somebody is, I mean, we have big completions here. Completion, completion, completion. There's closure that is coming. Somebody is closing a chapter in their life. And even though the sword of truth hurts, it does hurt. There is some pain with this change and I'm not going to lie. You are probably going to feel some pain as you release whatever this is that has caused you so much conflict. All right. Um, I think that from the Nine of Wands to the Ten of Wands, somebody persevered and now they're giving up. It's it's done. It's done. So if somebody's moving in a new direction, they're headed towards a new chapter, a new life. And that is what this is. I mean, I can't I can't pretend, okay? So somebody is seeing the light. They're 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 deciding to um stop hiding. You know what I mean? It's like I'm I can't hide this truth anymore. I see the light. It's time for me to go. So somebody is taking the lead and moving in a new direction towards a new beginning that leads to victory and success. And this is a big, 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 big deal. Okay, with the world card, it is. It's going to make you feel... Well, it's going to... It's not going to... I mean, the sword... This It hurts. The truth hurts. It, it, the truth does hurt. But... It's going to allow you to start over, okay? So that's what this is, all right? 
So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That just fell out. This has been stalled for quite some time. And whoever this person is that's moving on has been thinking about it for quite some, quite some time. They've been thinking about letting this end. They've been thinking about giving up. And it looks like now um, it may happen at night. This decision may happen at night where all of a sudden they decide to take that step that they've been um, reluctant to take. Okay. So I feel like right now this person, who, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, is, is going within and they are slowly um, disengaging, okay, with that King of Wands. They're losing their ambition, they're losing their drive, they're losing their um, passion to go on, okay, with the King of Wands reversed. I mean, he's like turning his back on this situation. I can't fight any longer. Somebody is giving up the fight. I don't want to fight anymore. So it looks like somebody is moving in a new direction in which they are they just can't they just can't take it anymore. It's too heavy, it's too burdensome. I need to drop this load. From the nine of wands to the ten of wands. I've I've fought long enough. Now, the hermit card is a Jesus consciousness. If this person, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, is is very much aware that it's time to move on and start a new a new life. So there is a major new beginning here. There is. Where you may feel uh, you may feel alone. You know, you may feel alone. Here we have the two. Here we have the one. You may feel alone. You may not appreciate this. You may not be happy with this new beginning. You may feel like now you got to start over from, from, from ground zero. And, and maybe, you know, it's not actually a zero. You still have skills. You have experiences. You have whatever this is that you learned from this situation. And somebody will come along to, to help you out. All right. You still have a lot to offer in this new direction. Um, you're not alone, even though you may feel like you are. You may even be a little scared because, I mean, he's alone and he may feel a little scared that you don't, you can't do this on your own, but you can do this on your own. There's closure. Something is coming to an end. Nines are closure. Tens are completion. Nine, nine, ten. This is a completion. The death card. We have an, an ending here. And I know that a lot of you don't want to believe that. Nobody does, right? I'm not just talking to Libra here. I'm talking in general. Endings bring new beginnings. And endings hurt. But... What it is going to bring you is a whole new life where you're in control, where you're the boss. You're now the leader in command. You probably are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, because we have it quite prominently. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Aries Leo Sagittarius, Aries Leo Sagittarius. So there's definitely a lot of fire energy here, whether there's a lot of fire in this person's chart or not. Whatever is happening is going to make you feel, you know, you may feel emotional. You may feel a little empty inside as these changes are happening. You may feel um, like your fire has been put out. But... Whatever is happening is going to ask you to find your strength to deal with it. You may feel like you're not strong enough to do it on your own, but you are. You are. Somebody is moving in a new direction. I, already, I can't make this up. They are moving on. And wherever they're going, there's no looking back. They're not coming back because this road is disintegrating. 
It's not, it's not, it's, it's, it's gone. So we have somebody that is headed in a new direction and they're not coming back. And it's probably not what you want to hear. But this is, is too too heavy for this person. The, the person that is moving in a new direction can't carry this load anymore. It's too much. It's overwhelming. It's killing them. And they must move on. They must move on to find the victory and the success that they deserve. It's been delayed for quite some time, but I think as nighttime, because we have nighttime here and nighttime, nighttime, somebody is at night is going to make the decision to, to go, to take that step in a new direction. And I mean, we have night, 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 night. So something is going to happen at nighttime where somebody is going to decide to move on they're gonna they're gonna get some sort of epiphany that wakes them up a wake-up call you know they're gonna wake up and they're gonna be like I'm gone I'm starting my new life oh god somebody is walking away somebody is saying goodbye this is no longer emotionally fulfilling to me. The Eight of Cups. So Libra, I'm sorry this is not the reading that you were hoping for. But I have to tell you that there's a silver lining, okay? There's a silver lining here, okay? There is. Endings bring new beginnings. And this is a big, big deal. This is going to bring you more success and more victory and more happiness. It's going to bring you renewal. It's going to relight that fire within you even though you may not think so. It's going to bring, this is these are both cards of victory and success and these are both cards of transformation. Victory and success transformation is going to transform your life. So whatever is happening, whatever is being released, because this is a card, the death is a release. Whatever is being surrendered, whatever is being let go is going to bring you a major, 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 major new beginning. Where you are in charge. Structure is going to come back. You're now going to be in the lead. So it looks as though you're, you may not be happy about this change, but this is a universe card. It's time. It's time. For this to end so that you can get the victory and success and start your new life. This card is about mastering your emotions, yes? And this is a card of strength. You're going to have to, and this is lack of strength. You're going to have to find your strength to deal with this transformation that you are going through. Because you are going through a major transformation that is leading you down a new road. You could even end up moving or traveling or changing your location completely. Somebody is. Somebody's changing location. Somebody's moving. And they aren't looking back. Endings bring new beginnings. 13 converts to a 4. This is, there's angels that are waiting for to assist you. Okay? Ask for their help. So yeah, you have a new beginning here, Libra. A new beginning. Is it in regards to love? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't see love. I see that you guys are, are releasing or somebody's releasing you. You're either releasing them or they're releasing you. And you're headed in a new direction whether you like it or not. Libra. One card for Libra. From now until the end of November. The thinking woman. 
it's the opportunity to close that chapter. The book It's something that somebody has thought about for quite some time. They've delayed it. It's going to get you're about to get some sort of closure. And that's what this is about. And it's going to lead you in a new direction. Now, we have 11. 44 plus 7 is 11. Represents the Justice card. You are going to get the justice you receive, you deserve. You are, believe it or not. Even though you may not see it, you may not see it as justice. The universal law says it is. You have to have faith and trust. One plus one equals two. Faith and trust. Trust the universal law. Somebody is moving in a new direction because they can't do it anymore. They can't fight. They're not, I'm not going to fight. They're giving up the fight, and that's clear. That is absolutely clear. And with this ending, brings a new beginning. And... and You end up taking a new road. Now, I don't know if this is an ex or a family member. I don't know. Whatever it is, release your ex. The time has come. Whoever it is, it's time to go. Because you have something much better waiting for you. I think that you will receive some sort of... I mean, the last card is wake-up call. You know, this, this Ace of Swords. You're going to wake up to a call that somebody has moved or left or something like that. And I think one of my messages for Libra, I can't remember, was waking up to the truth. Well, we have it again, okay? We do, we have it again. Waking up to the truth. You're going to receive some sort of message, communication, that somebody has moved on. They've moved, like moved. They've moved, like picked up and moved. And you need to let them go. And it ain't going to feel good, but it's going to bring you, it's going to allow you to go down a new road towards victory and success. That's what I see. Or it could be you deciding at night. Maybe you go to bed, you wake up in the morning and you say, you know what, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm not hanging on anymore. I'm not hanging on to whoever it is. Somebody's letting go. That's all there is to it. I wish you the best. I really do. And don't think I don't love you guys because I do. Even Heidi.